What if you wanted to put an image on your button instead of text? The first thing you need to do is create an image and place it in the resource directory. Here I've placed a button logo for the client user in the drawables directory. But how do you get it there? Well, if you change the project view to project files, you can see that wherever your app is stored, it's underneath the app source main resource directory. Let me show you what I mean. So when you installed Android Studio, you chose a place to store all of your apps. Well, here is the project file for Droid 101. And if we follow the sequence on the left hand side, Droid 101, app, source, main, resources, and drawable, here is the image we're going to use. Let's switch the project view back to Android. If we open up the layout for the main activity and take a look at the design view, we can pick a image button widget. You can just drag that across. And if you look at the XML, we have an image button. And as before, we need to give this a unique identifier. And we're going to call it image button my first button. And we're going to define the handler in the XML file. So on click, we want the send message method to take care of it. And finally, we need to reference the image that we've just placed. So we do that by tapping in Android source at drawable button logo client user. I'm really happy with the autocomplete in Android Studio. Well, we now need to edit the send message method and create a handler for this button with this ID. Let's open the main activity. So here's the send message method. At the moment, we only have one case to test for. Let's test for the case for when we click the image button. So here we're testing for the ID image button, my first button. And we're going to stick with the same intent. We're just going to point to the my first button class. Let's run the app. Here's our application and you can see that the image has been put on top of a button and the button has resized to fit the size of this image. And if we click it, it will take us to the empty action. Let's back out of that for now. But what if we didn't want to have that button around it and we just wanted to have the image? That's a simple fix. If you go back into the main activity XML layout, and if you find the image button, at the very end, if you tap in Android background and you state at null, that will only show your image. Let's run that. Okay, and here you can see that we only have the image. So we have an image acting as a button. Great. But what if you wanted your image to change when you clicked it? If you see when I click on method two, there are some image changing. But if I do the same to the button that we've just created, nothing happens. Well, first of all, you need to create some more images so that we can switch between them depending on our action. And I've already done that. So I've got the original button. I've got another button here that's purple and I've got another button that's red. So how do we switch between these different buttons? You need to create a new XML file inside your drawable resource directory. If you right click your drawable resource directory and create drawable resource file, let's call it variable button logo client user. And what we do here is create a selector. And this is what it looks like. We check for a if pressed state. And if it's true, then this picture is shown. And it's the button logic client user purple. So if you click it, it will be purple. Now if it's in focus, it will show the red icon. And in all other states, it will show the default. But we now need to point to this XML as if it was an image resource, which it is. 
So let's go back to our main activity layout file, find our button, and change the source image. Autocomplete should help us here. There it is. Let's run the application. Well, here's our button, and if we click it, it turns purple, and in every other state, it's clear. But what about this in focus? Well, we're not going to see it on this simulator because we don't have a trackball or, um, well, when something's in focus in an app, you're tap tabbing through each item, and we can't do that on this Android phone. But if you had a phone that supported it, you could do. Well, anyway, that's it. That's how you use a picture as a button. And this is also how you change what the button looks like when you add an event.